Hey, I'm Billy Harris. You're hanging with Harris. It is the last day of Tales of the Cocktail in New Orleans. My very good friends, Stefan and Alex. Hi. The first thing that comes to my mind, I've been to a lot of these cocktail events, is that bitters in general is making a real big comeback, right? We were living in a different world five years ago. Yeah. So there was hardly any bitters available, especially not in Germany. And there wasn't even Twitter, so God, it's crazy. Well, Twitter was around, I think. <laughs> they just had their fifth anniversary. <laughs> Bitters, Twitter, it's crazy. You know, we started at the same time, so sure. they really took off. What would you do here with the lemon bitters? It makes a beautiful cosmopolitan. It does make a Or as people call it in, uh, in New Orleans, the Cosmo Martini. The Cosmo Martini, <laughs> right? <laughs> lemon bitters great for the cosmopolitan. So what about, uh, what about the, um, the Jerry Thomas besides the Tom Bomb? So. You know, the, the Jerry Thomas, actually, the story behind is uh, we actually... Um, wanted to recreate the original recipe of the Jerry Thomas on decanter bitters, which was given in the very first cocktail book from sure. Jerry Thomas, 1862. So, um, but because one of the ingredients is illegal now in the United States, we had to replace it with some other ingredients. Finally, we managed to uh, get the, the, the right uh, flavor profile, the original flavor profile, right. by using only legal ingredients. And uh, it can be used like a, like a regular aromatic bitters. What else do we have here? Let's take a peek. This is actually that's quite that's quite unusual. Stuff. Celery bitters, so, yeah. right? Pretty you cool. You know, there was celery bitters around uh, in the 19th century, you know, which was used as a stimulator, especially for men. So yes. brought men power back. Remind me to take that bottle <laughs> with yeah, me. Take right? it with you. Seriously. It's yours. <laughs> and uh, so my wife's like, "Oh, <laughs> celery bitters, fantastic." <laughs> So it's liquid by Akron. It, it was actually really gone. seriously. Give me this. I'm gonna put this in my pocket. <laughs> um, it was actually gone for almost a um, hundred years, mm -hmm. and uh, so we just thought, okay, it's quite weird. And so why don't we have it today with all the corpse revival cocktails, as Bloody Mary, Prairie oysters, and stuff like that? You know, all the vegetable flavors. Yeah. Um, people went to all fruits on the planet, but no vegetables. Right. So. So celery. hey, want to go with celery. Yeah, go for celery. And and it was uh, the award win winner last year. Yeah, it says Spirit of the Year right there, which is great. Where is everything made in Germany? Are you guys making this or yes. all by you? Yeah. yeah. It's Creole the Creole bitters, bitters yeah. which is perfect for uh, New Orleans here, right? What would be, uh, what would be the right cocktail to... Well, I would, I would actually add some rye whiskey to it. Yeah. Maybe flavors with a little absinthe, add a little sugar, top it off with a little orange or lemon zest. Sounds like a Creole cocktail right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, would you make a cocktail like that in Germany? Every, Not really. Every day. You're like every, you're like every day, every morning, before I go on a jog. I you know, in Germany, we drink that stuff neat. The bitters? Yeah, sure. Well, which I guess we should be doing right now, which, but we're not. Which grows a lot of chest hair. Bergen Hawk, bitters kit. Authentic cocktail and food flavoring. So this is the food version. Exactly. All our bitters are on, under the Bitter Truth label are considered as spirits in the United States. Sure. So, but uh, you can also apply as a food status sure. here in the States, which makes um, sales very easy. Uh, over what are some water. of the things, what would people cook with this? I mean, really off? Oh, there's a number of dishes you can put them in. I mean, celery. Right, so put, just, yeah. It's obvious. Uh, but also for, for cookies and stuff like that, you flavor with a little orange, yeah, there's aromatic. Some, there's some guys like that. that used to, uh, um, to uh, flavor their mayonnaise with bitters, for example. Right, which would make sense. Yeah, why not? Makes sense to me. I love the little travel packs. I normally go with my shaving cream, my toothpaste, but now I'm going to travel with my bitters, the bitter truth. All right, gentlemen, it's been a good time in New Orleans. Stefan, Alex, the bitter truth, all this beautiful line of bitters at your local store. Can they get it anywhere? Everywhere. Every, not even anywhere. It's just everywhere, which is even better. And online, of course. Of course, and I assume it's thebittertruth.com. You're like, no, that's not the website. That's thebittertruth.com. Thank God you. I got that right, right? Yeah. All right, gentlemen, this is awesome. Thanks for hanging with Harris. Was it good yeah. for you? It was a pleasure to meet you. It was a pleasure. Thanks for having us. My pleasure. See you soon. Look at that big, it looks like you just killed a rabbit and put it on and made a microphone out of it.